Uh, everybody, I am Emmanuel the Prapra from Tell Nigeria, and beside me is uh, Kemi of Olabi. You are talking about something you want to tell Olari me to introduce us here properly to tell us something with Facebook. Can you tell us again? Emotional contagion on Facebook is like the way emotional contagion. Contagion. Can you spell this contagion? C O N C A G I O N. One more time. C O N C A G I O N. T A G I O N contagion. What basically, does it mean? Basically, it's just about you. For instance, if you're smiling, I can, con I can, it can, I can get contagious. It is contagious. Your smile. Yeah. I can share your emotions. So it's just about the way you share your emotions. Like if you're crying, I'll share it with you. If you're so on Facebook, people, you know, it's an avenue for people to share their emotions, share their pictures, and share whatever. And people tend to like or share the same emotion. Okay, yeah. so that's why it's called emotional, emotional, emotional contagion. Emotional yes. contagion. So you mean that this, um, my own emotion can affect you, or yes. is it that because of my own emotion, or you have the same emotion like me? The transference of emotions. Okay, that means my emotions can affect someone else. Mm -hmm. Not that this person really feel this way before. Yeah, because okay. I'm sharing, I have my emotion. Mm -hmm. There is every probability for you. To catch the emotion. Okay. For example, I just come to you and I start laughing. You know, there's a probability for you to just start laughing without knowing why I'm laughing. Mm -hmm. And if I'm crying. Even though you are running, if you run to me, I'll be running also, running yeah, away. Just like <laughs> if there's something happening and you see people running. running yeah. You don't even know what is happening and you two will start running. So that's just the idea of the contagion. So now on Facebook, the way people, the way the messages go viral, the information spreads like wildfire. Yeah. For instance, let me give you an example of the Belgium attack. That was just mm -hmm. recent. Yeah. You see people changing their display pictures just to show their solidarity and everything. Yeah. So that is the way emotion is being contagious. Mm -hmm. And so now, you know, the world is now digitalized. Mm -hmm. It's no more face-to-face. -face. Now everything is happening on the internet. So that's why I'm working on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. So please, I, would, I want us to go on one step backward. Uh, what do you study? Business communication. Business communication. Yeah. And uh, you were doing your master's at the University of uh, Freiburg. Freiburg in Switzerland. Yeah. So now this uh, contagious, or the way you call it, this emotional yeah. contagious, or how is, what is the continuity of this contagious? If I want to say this, is it contagious? Like I said, it's a digital world now. It's a digital world now, and most of the researches are going in the in the aspect of the digital era. Yeah. You understand? If I, the most of many research has been done on the face-to-face -face communication. Mm -hmm. So now everything is now being diverted to the digital world because most of the people on Facebook they spend most of their day even on Facebook. So that's why we need to carry out that research mm -hmm. on Facebook. Okay. Yeah. So what do you have to, to say about this? Topic? Um, yeah, I think I'm quite familiar with what she's trying to talk about because um, during my studies in um, the university, I think we also had to... Um, look into like pictures, you have to bring a picture and then they have to check what areas um, people tend to view particularly. There's a point to show that like when someone just look at the picture, it's not, they don't really look at everything. There are particular places where they tend to look at and when you find out if you compare everything, you see that um, majority of the people look at that particular place, maybe the forehead or the lips. So I think I'm... And why do, you, why do you think people are more particular, particular uh, about a particular point in a picture, or a particular part of the picture? Why is it like that? Um, I can't really say, but I think we are humans. Um, okay. there's, uh, there's one thing that everyone wants to see in a person. Yeah. For example, when you look, when you're talking about the face, so they want if you to look see, at me, what do you want to see in my face? Um, <laughs> at first, I want to see if you have a pointed nose or you okay. have one, or okay. I want to see like uh, if you have um, uh, a nice eyes or something like that. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So these are the things. Uh, what about you? When you look at someone, what do you expect to see? What are you looking when for? When you were talking and you smiled, yeah. I smiled back. Okay. So that just illustrates everything I was just saying. Okay. okay. Yeah. Welcome. Okay. Okay. Good. If we are coming back to what she just said, if you are looking at somebody, what do you see? What do you want to see? Because there is a song that says that what you're looking for and what do you want to see. <laughs> so what what do you see when you look at somebody? I think the eyes. The, the eyes. eyes yes, okay. The, your expression. Okay. If I see and I see that you look friendly, then you know, I'll be 
attracted to you for me to do the eyes sees it all. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Falabi, according to this topic, now let's come back to the original topic about the, the, the contingent uh, the contagious uh, act in, in, in Facebook. What is this in your own opinion as a lawyer? Well, in my own opinion, I, I what I would say is that it's all about you know, studying people, not from what they say, but mm -hmm. from from kind of their physical appearance. Mm -hmm. and let me put it in a nutshell, their body language, mm -hmm. which is a very, very uh, important aspect when it comes to uh, human understanding. How to understand human patterns, you know, like psychology, how, how we uh, how, how we interact mm -hmm. socially, because there is more to more to what you say okay, yeah. you know, than what we even hear. Mm -hmm. And how do we how do we uh, understand that? It is by studying the body language of mm -hmm. you know, the respective individuals we have in engagement with, which is actually something that we do. In, 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 in the legal already, because mm -hmm. if you're giving evidence in court, in the court of law, and, and uh, the, the judge wants to see you, mm -hmm. you have to look straight into the judge's eyes. It's not because he likes your face, actually. He wants to see, read your demeanor. Okay, okay. in this, in this sense, you know, now you know that some people are good actors and actresses. So, for example, I can act. Yeah. How do you detect that this guy, this person in question is acting or this is the real guy? How do you say this? Well, well yeah. what I believe is that you cannot, uh, you cannot be more than who you are. Maybe I would explain that. Do you think some people can all act what she's doing in social studies and what she's going to do for her thesis and how important the thesis will be in Africa and also in Europe? Can please, can you continue? Okay, my name is Olaemi Sergio, like I mentioned earlier, and uh, I'm present at the university, I'm a student in the university and I'm studying business communication. Mm -hmm. um, for my thesis, I'll be working on... You cannot act, you have to act it, but at the point, you can't keep acting. So how much, how much time do you have for the investigation? It's well, another question. Well, well, it all depends on, on, on you know, the person and how that person has actually been... Uh, and be practicing the concept of, should I say, of deceit, oh, yeah, trying, yeah. To, trying to perform, yeah, to perform, to stay to act. in act. <laughs> but the truth is that at the point, you will be yourself. Okay. The limits, the limits of the question is, from individual huh? the, that the, the, my question is the time. Okay. How much time do you have to really investigate, to view, to see somebody true color? How much time do you need to do that? Well, do you have all the time? Well, in, you, you really don't have all the time. But well, as an investigator, there are certain attributes that you are looking for. Okay, good. And that is the more reason why it is not what the person is saying you are paying attention to. It is how the person is saying it. His eyes. I can be saying something now, and and you know, my eyes are turning off. Are turning okay. off are turning so if we bring if we bring that if we bring that back to to your original topic, your topic is about. Same this feeling, the transfer of this feeling, you know, something like this of this emotion. I mean, no, I mean, but then, no, for example, I, I can be feeling very bad, very hungry, and I can post on my Facebook page that I am feeling this transfer. If somebody else is feeling the same, how does it? What What are you going to say about this? Yeah. And you know that's that all of them. It's a big difference. Yeah. So even if I'm not talking about, I'm sorry to cut you. Yeah, no, no I'm not talking about what, what is all about. It's not about maybe being hungry or something. It's talking about emotions that you feel. Okay. So, so for example. Anticipation. Okay. For example, I saw a Facebook page this morning. The guy wrote that feeling cool. You know, at because he was. The picture is close to the swimming pool, so he took some pictures along the, with the background of the swimming pool, and he said something, something, for example, John C. Okoro feeling cool. How do you interpret this? You know, for instance, you see somebody that is happy or sad, but does it really exist? So that's what we are trying to measure, how the emotions exist in the virtual world. So which parameter are you using to, to measure this? For now, I'm going to use the PMS. P-A-N-S-K-L. A-N-S-K-L. And it's a psychological 
like a, an evaluation a, evaluation tool in psychology yeah, to, okay. to measure people's emotions mm -hmm. it, uh, like there's this thing called the wheel of emotions it was made by a brown mm -hmm. and that's and what i'm using he, he's a psychologist from where he's an american psychologist <laughs> okay and yeah. is he still alive or dead yeah, I, I, he's still alive. Still alive. But yeah, he's a terrorist. Yeah. Okay. So he was the one that he was one of the terrorists of the emotion. He was one of the terrorists, the proponents of the ter emotional terrorism. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's. So the now your 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 thesis, the basis of your thesis, is based on this guy's idea. Yes, it's based do you, on. Do you are you sure that this idea is good? Of course, it's good. Because I'm trying to it? measure. Yeah, I'm trying okay. to measure emotions mm -hmm. in the digital world. Okay. Of course, you know that emotions exist in the physical world. Yeah. So I'm trying to see how these emotions are being portrayed in the virtual world. Okay. So that's so, what I'm just trying to measure. Okay. So have you ever have you ever gotten a result based on this? Do you have any results? Well, I'm still working on it, and I I made that an initial example from this one to see how emotion exists already. Mm -hmm. like yeah. the French yeah. attack. Mm -hmm. The Belgium attack. Yeah. You see that there was a sort of collective emotion. Yeah. People came together from all over the world to express their grief yeah, and feeling. to support okay. Belgium yeah. and whatever country. Yeah. Yeah. Even the Charlie Hebdo case yeah, in, in France. France yeah. You see that people, even the Bring Back Our Girls, even in Nigeria, yeah. you see that the Bring up Back Our Girls story. You see people okay. coming up to to bring their hashtags and everything mm -hmm. just to express their. I, I just want yeah. to uh, know, for example. Mm -hmm. you, you just told me how long you're going to spend. Yeah, I'm from Sweden because you know, when it comes to doing research, you can't really. Yeah, it's feasible because I have lots of information. The people are going to sample. I'm going to like sample people. I'm going to see people. Okay. So it's feasible for me, but you know, getting people to feel the questionnaire is another problem. So I need to consider all that. So I can't really say. Yes, okay. to so you want to do, no you want to do a career market questionnaire? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's a survey. Okay. So, which audience do you consider to, to get? What what is your which, what is your audience? What, what group of people are in your audience? Mostly youth and students, because those are people that spend most of their time on Facebook. Okay. So between which age and youth, say sixteen, thirty-five or twenty, like this? This is got a university student, maybe from eighteen to thirty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you think that with this you can get some results? And what are you going to do with your results? When I get the results, I don't know what the results will be now. I mm -hmm. could get the questionnaires and see that probably emotions don't even exist mm -hmm. on Facebook. I don't know yet. So mm -hmm. I need to get my results from my data mm -hmm. and then analyze my data. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I know that emotions exist on Facebook. Mm -hmm. But I just need to prove it. You understand? And yeah, you want to prove it. And people, I still, I think. I, I believe I believe that people from different regions at a particular point of time also feel something similar. For example, we as Nigerians, there are some things we feel that typical Swiss people will not feel at a particular time. So my question to you is that who is your audience in terms of region? For example, Europe, Africa, Asia, or America? For now, because I'm here in Europe, most of the majority of the population I'm going to sample will be Europeans. Okay. But you know, because it's on the internet, anybody has access, anybody could come across the questionnaire. Mm -hmm. So, but because I'm here, because I'm in this location, I would say my population sample will be the people in Switzerland. So, which percentage of of, of this group of people are you giving to Europeans? And which percentage are you giving to other? Like I said, it's not in my control to give percentage to Europeans or Africans. Who is I'm just control? trying to sample. It? It's what, you know, people, I'm going to put it on the internet and okay. anybody could have access to it. So maybe when I collect all the data, you then I can put it on the internet how? I'm going to make my questionnaires. I'm going to use this tool called Google Survey. Okay. And then I'll send an email. Like a group, a bulk email mm -hmm. to people. So like you want to Facebook. send bulk emails to yes, people? Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be sending to, are they the, one, the people you know or you don't know? You just want to, I'm going to, you know I have my population size already. So I have like a number of people I'm going to send it to. And then I create the questionnaire with the Google survey, put everything I need to put, and then I'll send it to people. If I send it to people that I know, I'm being biased. And that's why it's called round, random sampling. Are you, no, but, so now that goes to my question. Do you think it's going to be efficient? Because, you know, we have like spam 
some people don't like receiving or they don't want like opening mails that they don't know the, the what sender, is here yeah. because I just for example like me once the mail comes once i see the heading i know who it's from i know if it's something i want to open go ahead and i close and for example i've been sent so many survey things and i just delete it so that i'm trying to ask you do you think such um such strategy will be efficient for you yeah i think so you think so even with the feeling of people saying that it's a spam, spam or work mail, do you think? You know, it depends on the intro, intro. Yes, I know there's a problem with the spam thing, but I think that's the only way I could use to get my... How many supervisors do you have from the university? I have one supervisor. The professor? Yeah. Male or female? Male. Male, okay. And it, okay, now your, your project is still on and I believe that this question is uh, very important and because your data is your result. Yeah, okay. without a good data, Depends on how I yeah, no matter what kind of analytical tool you apply, if the data is wrong, then the, the output will be wrong. Thank you so much. And then, in your own sense, what kind of idea do you think, since you are not 100% sure that this method will be fine, what do you consider better? Um, I think for her, to me, I would say um, it doesn't have to be like, you don't have to think of being biased here because it has to be with your work and you have to deliver. And um, so I think it's better you like try to use this, the area of friends, friends of friends, with that way they can read you. Tell like, you start with your own friends, your Facebook friends, you introduce, you tell them, oh, this is what I want to do, I need um, some data, I need to improve my project. And then you tell them, please help me tell your friends and take permission to like get to send this email to them. And like that, friends, friends of friends, friends of friends of friends, like that you can get their email, they'll help you and then I don't think that's being biased because um, I don't, to me, I'm very convinced that the um, strategy of trying to send a bulk mail won't work because I'm also, um, I, if you send me such kind of mail, once I, I don't even need to, some people don't open their mail. They just need to see the heading, where it's coming from. Like now, I've been with my email for how many years? So whatever mail is coming from, coming to me, I know where it's coming from. I know who I'm, like now, as I'm here, I know who I'm expecting to get mail from and who I'm not expecting. So once I see that it's strange and it's not something that um, hits me like that, then I just delete it. Sorry, to cut you short. Sorry uh, let, let him speak because he's a lawyer. Please tell us, what do you think in, in your own legal uh, uh, sense? In your, own, in your own legal sense of reasoning, from what we have discussed now, what do you think is possible in this kind of scenario? Well, um, I understand her point very well, because mm -hmm. uh, truly it's quite difficult to get people uh, to fill questions, mm -hmm. even normally when you handle them physically. Mm -hmm. You don't stay with them, you say that they can return it the next year or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> It's quite, it is quite difficult. But the truth is, it depends on on what she, on, on, on what her target is and her audience, mm -hmm. okay? Because uh, if she has people of like minds, mm -hmm. I have people that, that send me such stuff that I don't know before. But when I see that it's something related to my field, I want to help them. Mm -hmm. I click it and I fill the questionnaire. It's what I do. Mm -hmm. So, and, and it's, it's something that um, anyone who is of, who, you know, who, who, who is of a like mind with her, who wants to share knowledge, and who wants to actually impact, wouldn't find it as a problem mm -hmm. to actually go ahead and do that, and wouldn't just look away. So if she says that she believes that she would get the, uh, the, the, the necessary data from, from our, our target audience, in a way, I also think it is possible, because it is what I do. So at the end of the day, you know, it's on a, you know, a balance of probability. Maybe it will work, maybe it won't work. But she knows that kind of person. If it's in the legal field, the legal arena, I, I know that um, for, for, for like minds, like minds would definitely go ahead to help me out. Good. In so addition to just what you said, yeah. to clarify, the platform is coming from the uni. So it's like the bulk mail from is the being university. sent from here. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to, be, I'm going to introduce from the university, yeah. from my university. So mm -hmm. I'm going to introduce myself. I'm so so and so person. I'm kind of this communication research project. Could you kindly fill this question here? Are you and then they'll speak get, on video or written script? There will be some videos actually okay. in the question. And this is part of the video too. Yeah. Because people will see this and then know that you are going to do something. I like don't this. need to show my face, but there will be some videos. No, but now they see you. 
<laughs> so that's how the bulk mail comes in. So it can just be the, the platform is on the uni from the university to make a product. And then I'll introduce myself so they know that I am a student. Yeah. So they'll gladly, and it depends on if the topic is very interesting, if it catches their att attention, like just like Father Bill said, they should be able to feel the question. And that's why I believe that it's really going to work. Okay, let me just point out something. The result that you're going to get, how will this result affect a man like me, a Facebook user like me? It affects you because you know that there's a possibility of catching people's emotions in the digital world. Mm -hmm. It's not just seeing a person smile that you catch mm -hmm. the emotion. Um, and it adds to the communication research field as well. Okay, so, uh, so what, what are the implications of being catching somebody else's emotion? What, what are the, what, what, what do I gain or lose from that? You are sharing emotions now. Okay. You are sharing so emotions. Share just the basic emotion, the main what do thing, I gain? The main idea is just to know that. It's just to like make a comparison between the digital world and the face to face. Okay, your your own is just to make the comparison. Yes, and Not to say that deep things to say, exist. Yeah, things okay. also exist. Things that exist in face to face also mm -hmm. exist in the digital world. Mm -hmm. To show you the level at which the world has become so digitalized mm -hmm. and you know, it's actually becoming a reality. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the Facebook is a world, of, or it's mm -hmm. also a planet. Anyway, <laughs> so now the, your result <laughs> is just that it will it will now it will be affecting me because I share people's emotion and uh, I will make more people also be part of this small emotional stuff. Exactly, your like emotion that. can affect me. Yeah, and I can get affected from your emotion too. Those like as we know, Facebook. also in music, yeah, can, music can change your mood. Sometimes yeah, so there are some music you hear like this, you like to smoke. There are some music you hear, you think about the girl, for example. You know, mm -hmm. things can change like that. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, uh, I thought I want to say something else. Yeah. So it's just another point of question. What do you think about people who they don't have emotions or they don't have emotions? Some people yeah, are stiff, so they are very stiff. I will use your, your, your <laughs> Facebook as an example. I, for one, I see a lot of posts on Facebook. You know, there are some posts. How many friends you have on Facebook? But I don't even know. I'm not so, yeah, I'm not so regular. You don't know how many friends you have on social media? How many friends you have on Facebook? Uh, I, I okay, you don't know precisely. how many friends you have on Facebook? I can't say precisely neither. Are you above 5,000? Not at all. Okay. But you should know because you are going to do something with these people. Yeah, but it doesn't, the amount of friends I have on Facebook doesn't really matter. It's not my friends that I'm using. Okay. I'm working on my direct friends. Okay. Like so are you getting, sorry, are you also trying to educate yourself yourself on Facebook itself? Of course, as I'm carrying out the research, I'm broadening my knowledge and I'm Facebook. getting to know. Can you tell me one or two things? Because me, I don't know so much, I just register and post. Tell me something about. Well, you just mentioned that Facebook is a planet and it's a world on its own. So. <laughs> yeah, but then, uh, as uh, based on definition, but I want you to tell me, for example, apart from logging in, posting something, tell me something. Facebook else. is a virtual community okay. in which people gather together. Okay. It's just like a church. Look at now, it's just like, for instance, if you're in a church. Mm -hmm. So it's a, gather, it's a virtual community in which people gather together, they mm -hmm. share. Whatever they post is called memes. You know, they, sh they share what it, maybe the pictures, the type, okay. they share the emotions, yeah, emotion yeah, icons. Sure. Thank you so much. Please go on with your list. Okay, so with your question. Um, for people who don't show emotion, <laughs> how do you really prove? Is there still a uh, way that you can, you can prove that uh, what they see on Facebook really affects them or really affects their emotions? And probably they, they, just, they are just pretending not to notice or they're just ignoring. Can you, can you really say for sure that what people see on Facebook? Or they are doing this just to support their people. Because, for example, if a guy posts something, maybe uh, R.I.P. Mama, for example, mm -hmm. then I would just write R.I.P. Mama Africa, for example. Well, just so, some people will even That's skip. where the issue of the confusion comes in. Yeah. Because, because if you, you said R.I.P. Mama Africa, and that's because this guy is my friend. In your I, don't, case, I don't, I don't just okay. want this thing. Mm -hmm. In your own case, but I agree that he has control that emotion of yours. <laughs> that you have contacted the whole. Okay. No, sometimes something. not. 
you sometimes I am okay. not really interested, but being that you, for example, if you post something, for example, say, ah, our day uh, today was very hard, uh, but thank God everything is okay. Mm -hmm. For me, it's not my story, but you are on my friends list. Mm -hmm. I want to support your feeling mm -hmm. by clicking like. It's still okay. contagious. It's still contagious. It's still contagious. But exactly. I don't feel it. Wait, the only way I can explain to you, I feel it's still contagious because you are still, you are still moved. To you reacted. You, don't want you to. reacted to when it. When it's not contagious, I want to help him. When it's not contagious, <laughs> it's when you want to you and say, bros, don't like that thing. You know. Then you know that it's not contagious. So, you have been asked to do it. So please, hear me. My own question is. <laughs> How can you prove that those people who just see your post and they just they just go bypass. ahead, they just bypass? Like it happens. Sometimes we have the conversations yeah. that people, are Nigerians or Africans, they, you you should promote your brother. You yeah. see the, your brother doing something, just like to help him. You that's just what I'm back. saying. You well, help. You they like will... to help. Well, those are not. You are not really feeling that thing. Those are not the people I'm trying to study. I want them to hear this. This is very poor. Yes, we should promote each other. Now your question, I'm sorry, I won't be able to answer that because those are that is not my target. So you don't need to know you don't need to like um group them those that like and those that don't like but what those are not emotional you are not trying to study is emotional so, yeah those are yeah <laughs> so those are not they decide to show their emotion i understand you people don't show emotion it's, it's not part, part of, of the don't story. fail the question yeah they, 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 they need to understand because even if, don't bother. even if even if even if my person has those no, people they wouldn't even feel it I tell you so they are automatically out of the these study these people these so people right. need another student to study non-emotional people no, 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 no. maybe I would take on that. For instance, <laughs> for instance, if you don't show your emotions yeah. and my questioner comes to you, you would even ignore the question, yeah? yeah. So for that, it means you are not even part of the study in the first place. Yeah. So that's why I said that those are not the people I'm trying to study. <laughs> you have a point. But, yeah. but, 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 but so that your, 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 your research no, is too broad no, in a way because no, you tag it as, as, you know, those on Facebook, Facebook. you, you know, how they react to... Mm -hmm. to no, we have questions. asked her the question before. Yeah. I ask her, because I'm, very, I'm a geographer, yeah. I'm very particular about regional stuff. I'm very particular about your area. That's why I ask Europe, Africa, Asia. Which people are you trying to meet uh, to reach? And because I know that Europeans and Africa at different times we feel differently. Yeah, we have different feelings. Academic work, and yeah. it has to do with my own future. So I cannot mm -hmm. just. I'm not doing something. It's not like I'm being sponsored for this. Yeah. So I need to consider all that, and I told you that. No, with this, this, with this, if you need a sponsor, you have to say, this is 10 Nigerians. If you need a sponsor, if you need people to reach out to you, we are going to put out your email. People will get to us, we get to you. If you want people to support you, if you want to get a greater audience, this is the avenue, this is 10 Nigerians. Well, for now. And for people. now, you don't need but now, too much let cash. Me you have it. <laughs> <laughs> but now, because of the nature of what the research is all about, because it's being done for school work, yeah. and for me to get my points and my grades and everything. Maybe after doing that, and it's, it's something very interesting, then, you know. Call for sponsor, sponsor to, to take it know, further to exactly. PhD. Exactly, okay. and then I could do it. I could not do. Maybe I could do the research not only on Facebook now, mm -hmm. but I could do it on other social media, media social okay. media, social media, maybe on Snapchat, mm -hmm. Instagram, and then to see if these emotions really exist. Mm -hmm. And then not only with what they type, but also with, because I'm going to work on, I'm going to work on their photographs as well because the memes. You understand? Maybe I could just show a photograph that portrays like mm -hmm. anger, and see if people would react more. To the negative emotion, normally to yes. Positive one, normally yes. But you can't really, you can't really say normally yes. From my yes. experience, I know that it's like this. If you put, if I go now and write that, I am enjoying myself in Zurich at the Zurich airport, mm -hmm. and we get like twenty-five likes mm -hmm. for comments. Mm -hmm. But if I write now that, for example, God forbid, Moto jump somebody, and. Cutting leg, blood, you see everywhere on the picture. Mm -hmm. 
you will see people praying and writing a lot of yeah. stuff. Hundred likes more. Yeah. Before tomorrow, self, we don't go viral. So in a way, you're saying negative emotions are more contagious people, than people positive People like emotions. to hear negative bad things news. more. <laughs> people like bad news. Well, for now, for now, I believe. But anyway, now. <laughs> anyway, let's be positive. We we are going. We we hope to see good news, positive yeah. news. And uh, do you have more questions, please? No, that's okay. Okay, you have more questions? I will, um, I will just say, Ooh. in a nutshell, okay. you know, without uh, having all these, your, 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 uh, your terminologies that could be a little bit... You know, yeah, we are not in our face, but yeah. in a nutshell, yeah. you know, what is the goal from this research? Yeah. What will you uh, yeah. want the common man to learn? Up as a lesson. I think yeah, she mentioned that in the no, in a nutshell. Stop. Yeah, okay. In a nutshell. Okay, tell us in a nutshell. Just catch it. Tell yeah. us. In, in a nutshell, nutshell. means that you need to catch up. Yeah. The digital world has become a reality, and everything that happens in face-to-face setting happens in the digital world as well. Not, yeah. not as totally. As anyway, I don't agree. Most with of the things happen. Emotions yeah. too. That's Emotions exactly. and script and things, but physical things don't exist there. People quarrel, script, yeah, we use script and videos, but they don't fight on Facebook, physically. Well, you still do something to the emotion. If I tell you something negative, if I tell you, like, if I tell but you But anyway, I know negative. that people have taken digital stuff to reward. After quarreling online, we see it every day in America. This is our black sisters, every day they fight. They first and that's why it has become a reality. Yeah, they quarry on Facebook and then they fall out in the street and do it physically. Yeah, <laughs> so that's why it has become a reality. Yeah. And everything that exists happens, yeah. you understand? You see people transfer emotions from Facebook mm -hmm. and then the, the beef comes out to the yeah. physical world. Okay, well. what is beef? The anger. Okay. <laughs> no, I just want to ask you. Yeah, no. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we wish you all the best Thank from uh, from ten Nigerians, from Nigerians. Ten Nigerians is about us, about Nigerians, about what we are doing. We congratulate you for your knowledge. It's not easy, and we congratulate you for being a student because we know that according to Lucky, our study we go well, and uh, we hope to see you again to present. Maybe the next time we we'll see you with your printed paper to say. This is your thesis, and we wish that you get the best results. Yeah, with the very good results. Yes, yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Professor, you're not passed like this. Yeah. Emotions, but not for non-emotional matters.